Okay, now to get into the auxiliary instruments. The first one you're probably familiar with is a piccolo or a piccolo flute. In fact, they also have a piccolo clarinet, but you are often familiar with the piccolo flute. Piccolo means that it sounds the notes an octave higher than what is written. In the oboe family, you also have the corps anglais, which is French for the English horn. For clarinet, you can have the bass clarinet, and like I just said, you can also have a piccolo clarinet. For the bassoon, you can have the double bassoon or double contra bassoon. Okay, now looking back at brass instruments, tying in auxiliary instruments before we go into percussion, one instrument that could be considered an auxiliary brass instrument is the fugelhorn. This is similar to the trumpet and is also a transposing instrument in B-flat. In fact, the two instruments actually share the same tubing size, but the timbre of the two instruments is distinctly different. This mainly has to do with the shape of the bell. You can also have bass trombones. You can have piccolo trumpets. One very famous piccolo trumpet line would be the piccolo trumpet line in the song Penny Lane by the Beatles. If you've heard that song before, you probably know the piccolo trumpet line, so go check that out and you'll know the sound of a piccolo trumpet. Okay, last thing I want to mention before moving on to percussion is that here in the wind family you can also have some less common instruments. One example that would probably be the most commonly used would be the recorder. But I want to mention one main instrument that doesn't really fit in the brass or woodwind family very well but it's placed in the woodwind family technically, even though it's made out of brass, and that would be the saxophone. So why would the saxophone be in the woodwind family? And this is because it uses a single reed to produce a sound just like a clarinet versus vibrating your lips against a brass mouthpiece to get that sound. This is why it's almost like a hybrid instrument. It's made out of brass, but how you produce the sound is just like a woodwind instrument. In terms of timbre, of course, we all know the saxophone is sort of its own beast. So I really wanted to mention that because you can even have in modern circumstances the saxophone in an orchestral setting, maybe even something like a saxophone sonata. <laughs> 